So I'm really excited to be able to teach Advanced Conversational Therapy in June. All the dates are linked below. It's online, so you don't have to worry about going anywhere. This video, though, is really to talk to you about the 10 most common issues of why people have moved from what they're traditionally doing into Advanced Conversational Therapy. It makes such a big difference when you have moved from what you traditionally do into something so simple, results-based. It's so much quicker. I mean, I really can't tell you how quick it is when you have done the old traditional ways. It's like so different. But what the 10 common things are, guys, is these issues will have come up on so many occasions when therapists and coaches have told me, oh, I don't have to do the scripts and I have, don't have to do all these array of things. All they have to do is just be present with their client, just really sit and do the session. There's no prep. Let me get started. The first one is the scripts. You know, it was going to be inevitable that that was going to be number one because you've got to write the scripts. You've got to go and search the scripts for that particular niche, for that problem. And if clients haven't given you their forms or told you what the issue was till that morning before they see you or even the night before, you've got to try and hurry up and look at your reams of, you know, and folders of, of scripts. And if you haven't got it, that means you've got to go and ask for it. You've got to search for it. You've got to go buy it. Then you have to write one up. And that takes so much time. And I know when I did it, it took me so much amount of time. It actually was quite stressful. And the pressure was on because you wanted to be, you wanted it to be perfect. And you wanted those scripts to really be impactful. But as we know, and as you know when you'll do the course, we don't even know what the issue is, as in what the real problem is. They've, your client has given us what the symptoms are. We all know that that's, that doesn't mean anything until you get into the session when you find out what the real issue is. It could be a, you know, that they wanted to give up smoking, but it was really about lack of confidence. Well, you've gone from a non-smoking script to a confidence script and you know how much time can you go and get the script you can't say wait a minute I'm just going to try and rustle up this script you know you you don't have that time so that has been a real one that has been you know such a big issue with a lot of therapists a lot of hypnotherapists and for two hours or however long you are with your client you're doing all the talking you're asking the questions, you're going through the script, you're doing all the talking, you're doing all the motivation. And for two hours or for however long your session is, you end up doing all the talking and you end up being exhausted. And then you don't want to do the next client, you know, in another couple of hours because you've got to do all that again. So if you're seeing three to four clients a day, and you've got to do that much talking. Your family's going to not, you don't want to speak to your family. You don't want to speak to your partner. You're just going to be so exhausted. And that is when, you know, you as a ther therapist become burnt out because you're doing that all the time. You've got to not only get the scripts and get yourself prepared. You've got all that talking in the sessions. And it just becomes so long, so exhausted that you don't have time for anyone else except just collapse on the bed or collapse on the couch and not want to talk to anyone. And, of course, you know, you've got the remembering the techniques. So you've got to try and remember techniques. What is the next step? So when you're taking them down the induction, then when you're taking them down the steps, you know, you've got to say it the right way. You've got to, you know, wrote, learn it. And then, God forbid, if you missed a step, then you've looked back at that session. I thought, oh, my God, you know, that's that's not going to work out. They're not going to get the result because I missed that technique or I missed that step. That pressure is on you. You have so much pressure that you have to 
perform and think what you have to do next, that are you really giving your 100% time with that client? Are you giving all of that to your client? You have just focused on what you need to do and what you need to prepare that you've actually forgotten about what the client needs and you've forgotten what you need to do as a therapist for that client. Repack programs where a lot of the courses are trying to fix the problem, like scripts of fixing the problem. You know, the client comes in with, I want to lose seven kilos and, you know, they want to fix the problem. Okay, they've done the diet, they've done the eating healthy, but they're stuck. So here you're saying, like, what's the technique to lose weight? What's the biggest thing? You won't know until you have your client in front of you. You're having that discussion, discussion, and it can completely be totally different. It could be from a parent that wasn't giving the child attention. I mean, it could just go absolutely abstract from what you think it is. So having techniques and thinking that all these symptoms are going to be the real issue, they are not. Your client's going to tell you what the issue is. Your client's going to give you labels. Your client's going to have assumptions of what the symptoms are and it's going to be because of this and because of that because I've seen so many other therapists that so many other therapists have concluded and assumed that a certain label was going to be the issue, that it was, you know, it was going to be from some trauma, um, as I said, from a parent. You have no idea what it could be. So don't assume. And a lot of these traditional courses will tell you that you should think about it should be this, it, it, it's a label of this. It could be whatever. You cannot, you can't assume anything. I can guarantee you cannot assume anything in a session. So you have multiple, you know, number five. This is five already and I could go on. Multiple sessions. You have a program where you take them from six months or three months or six months or 12 months and you're seeing the same client. Now, if you've done your job, if you've done advanced conversational therapy, you might not even get to the third session. You might not even get to the fourth session because you have uncovered and untied all the issues right then and there in the in the session. You have made sure you have uncovered every stone that you've looked at it, you've analysed that stone, you have looked at whatever scenarios could affect that issue from coming back up again, why would you want to do three to six to 12 months seeing the same person and maybe not even having an issue, maybe even just making it up? You could be dedicating your time to family, getting you clients, marketing, putting back into the business, getting more experience. I mean, What you're doing is you're just setting yourself up in your business to not move. You're actually at a stagnant with your your business because you're not seeing any more clients. You're staying with the same client and you could get so bored that you don't even have the energy to see that person again. Let's be honest. Let's be really honest. You don't want to be bored and you can be bored when you see the same client come up with the same issue and or they might be making up another issue just for the sake of utilising the time that they've paid with you. So really making a limited sessions, so one to three, whatever you feel inclined to do when you get practice into it, you might limit that program and charge more money instead of, you know, less money For those programs, you could be just getting it all done and making more money with that client and not having to see that client again. You will have low-cost sessions and because of that, you will end up diminishing 
your profit because you're seeing that client over and over again. So you want to really invest your time in a few sessions and reap the benefits financially. So what happens is the reason why some of the therapists charge such low rates is because that's what the industry has said. As a psychologist, as a psycho psychotherapist, you know, you've got to charge this low because this price because that's what the industry bodies are saying that you should price. No, if you're good at doing ACT, if you're good at doing advanced conversational therapy, you can charge your worth because you know you can get to that root cause, the root issue in that session, and you will find that the clients will be so happy that they've finally reached some solution, some result, rather than taking weeks and months to get to that same result. And maybe it might not even be the result because they've been just giving you, the clients just be giving you symptom on symptom and not really finding out what the root cause is. So you can, you know, start creating audios. I know when I had to do audios and I had to really think about everything, re-recording it because you missed a word, re-recording it because you have background noise, re-recording it because you missed a line, not saying what your client was giving you. And it just becomes so long. Just one audio could take all day. The re-recordings, the music on top of it, making it sound hypnotic, putting the the waves of, of sound to think that it's going to sink in more and it's going to give whatever it is, it just talks so long. So I say to you, the audios and the scripts takes it away from you being the entrepreneur, putting back into your business, putting back with your family and friends and just enjoying life as well. Some clients can't even visualise, can't even, I know one client of mine in particular when I would ask them, oh, you know, can you imagine holding a balloon and, and, you know, seeing it let go? No, I can't imagine it. I can't visualise. It's not what I want. And you will get those resistant clients. But how can they visualise? How can they relax? Clients are already uptight from the time they walk into your session that they're already feeling tense. They're already figuring out, well, this is this person going to help me? They need to hear some issue about, you know, so, something that's going to help them talk about the problem rather than say, just relax or take a couple of breaths. Yes, breathing's wonderful. Don't get me wrong. It does help the, the nervous system calm down. But when you are saying to your client, just relax, when they're already feeling uptight, it can be so frustrating. And clients might even not know how to visualize. You will notice that a lot of the courses are all talk. They'll go through slides. They'll just read off the slides. What I'll be doing in the course is giving real-life demonstrations. Giving demos is the perfect way. I learn the perfect way. A lot of people learn because they can see it in action. And as the students will also feel how it feels to be the client, how it will feel to be the therapist, and then you get to practice, not in the course, but then you get to practice with the other therapists. You walk away and you start practicing and it's so easy. So when you see the live demos, you'll see what we watch out for, the unconscious moments. You will see a lot about the testing. We'll go through everything. And the Q&As are also going to be so helpful because you are there and then asking the questions you're not having to read something practice it then come back and ask you know questions and then you've forgotten the question we are all going to be at the course doing it live doing the on the spot questioning and I've got to say that when we apply these demonstrations when we start doing them in individually breaking it down there'll be times when 
you will actually see a whole full session. Now, we don't guarantee that your issue is going to be resolved because it is a training platform, but you will see that a lot of the clients or a lot of the students will feel very different after the course, after the program. And I don't want to burst a lot of the people's bubble that's doing the course, but you will see how different you feel. You will see and hear things differently and you'll actually walk away from the course with a different perspective. So I hope you can join me. It's going to be amazing. Every day is going to have demonstrations and at the end there's going to be a nice little bonus that will help you move on with your advanced conversational therapy sessions.